Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial we will look at the merge statement in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that what is the merge statement and how to use it in SQL Server. So without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. So I got the SQL Server instance and we will be using the merge statement here. So what is a merge statement? So a merge statement in SQL Server is used to insert, delete or update data from one table to another table. So before the merge statement, suppose if you had to insert some data from one table and we have to update some data from one table to another table or if we had to delete some data from one table to another table, then we have to use the three separate queries. But now with the introduction of the merge statement, now we can perform three operations, insert, delete and update in a single SQL statement. So that's the benefit of merge statement and the merge query is widely used in case of the large data because we just need to use one SQL query and it can perform the insert, delete and update. The merge statement is widely used in SSIS packages. Suppose there is a table like employee table which is the final table for the employees which contains the list of employees and their relevant data. Now suppose in an SSIS package if I have to import the data for the employees from maybe CSV file or Excel file so what I will do, I will import the data from a source file into a staging table. You know because sometimes the insert can fail, there can be some issue with the insert. So suppose if there is some issue and if I directly insert the data into the final table then there can be you know half inserted data kind of thing you know. So to overcome this kind of issue what we can do, we can just insert the data to a staging table first and once the data has been inserted to the staging table then from the staging table we can merge or you know update the data to the final table. So suppose there can be some new employees so the new employees can be inserted to the final table and there can be some existing employees whose information needs to be updated for example if an employee got promoted you know or for example of his department got changed anything can be changed you know or his salary got changed you know so we can just update the data for that particular employee in the final table. So for updating the data from staging table to the destination table we can use the merge statement okay so let me create a new query window and we will create two tables here the first table will be the employees table and another table will be the stg underscore employees table okay so we will drop the employees table if exists then we will create the employees table which contains like employee id first name last name email and department and then we have the stg underscore employees table which is the staging table and the structure of the STG employees table is exactly same but the structure can be different as well and the name of the columns in the staging table can be different as well okay so let me execute this query so this will drop and recreate both the tables okay so right now if you check both the tables should be empty so the employees table is empty and the STG employees table is also empty so what we will do we will insert some data into the STG underscore employees table and then using the merge statement we will insert or update the data to the employees table. So suppose if an employee already exists based on the employee ID then that record should be updated and in case if the employee does not exist in the destination table which is the employee table then that record should be inserted. Okay. So how we can write the insert statement. So this is the syntax of the insert statement. I will share the syntax with you. Okay. So that in case if you want to use it in your environment then you can use it. Okay. So this is the syntax of the merge statement, merge into and this will be our target table as target using source table. So this will be our source table. So you need to write your source table name here on and then we are doing a join between the source table and the destination table. So in our current example, we will do a join on the employee ID, but we can do the join on multiple columns as well. So suppose if you want to do the join on multiple columns, then you can put a end condition and you can just, uh, you know, place the joining condition for multiple columns as well. So I can just simply copy and paste it and then you can just give the second column name as well. Okay. And now when matched, then update the data and when not matched, then insert the data. Okay. So this is the kind of uh, SQL query. This is the, you know, basic syntax. Uh, we just need to modify this according to our table structure and the table name and the column name. Okay. So let's prepare the merge statement according to our uh, source table and the column names and according to our destination table and their column name. Okay. 
merge into employees as target using source table so our source table is the stg employees table so i can place the stg employees table here as source on target dot target column equal to source dot source column so we will do a join on the employee id so i can copy the employee id from here and paste it here when matched then update target dot column one equal to source dot value one target dot column two equal to source dot value two okay so our target column are this one those needs to be updated like first name but our source column name is also same okay so we can paste it here but the column name the source and target column name they can be different as well okay now the second column the second target column is the last name so i can place it here as well comma and then i can copy this one and the third column is email so i can place it here as well comma and now the final column is department so i can copy and paste it here as well okay so when mess then update when not mess then insert the data okay so we need to provide the list of columns those will be inserted so because in case of a new record employee id should also be inserted as well you know so employee id first name then last name then email so i can put a comma department okay so these are the columns and now we need to provide our source column name so luckily in our case the source column names are also same so i can copy and paste this one but we need to provide it like source dot first name so i can copy this one and paste it here source dot source dot source dot and then source dot source dot okay so this is our final merge statement merge into this destination table from source table based on a join on the employee id when matched then update the data from source table to destination table when not matched then insert the data into the destination table from the source table from these columns okay so this is a pretty straightforward merge statement so right now if you see we don't have any data so let's try to insert some data into the staging table okay or maybe i can insert the data for five records okay so i can copy this query and i can paste it here so if i execute this query so th this will insert the five records into the staging table and now if i select the data again so you can see that the staging table contains five records while the destination table which is the employees table this is empty okay so now if i execute the merge statement then it should insert all records all five records from staging employees table to the employees table so let me execute the query so you can see that five records affected and if i rerun the query again so you can see that all the data from the staging table has been inserted to the final destination table which is the employees table okay now suppose next time if i have to insert some data or update some data so let me do one thing that uh, let me try to insert two new records into the staging table and let me try to insert a record with some updated values okay so but before doing that let me truncate this staging table because that's how the staging table works that every time it should be truncated and should be inserted with some new data okay or some existing data so right now the staging table now got truncated okay and now into the staging table what i will do i will insert two new records maybe i can insert 9 and 10 record okay and uh, what i will do i will insert the 9 and 10 record and i will update the values for the first record laura williams okay so let me paste this value so now what it will do it will insert a new record 9 and 10 into the staging table and for the first record laura let me change the department from finance to hr okay and maybe i can change the email as well i can change the email to at gmail.com and like laura williams at gmail.com okay so let me execute the query so now three records got inserted to the staging table now if we compare the data between the source table which is the stg employees table and the destination table so these two records 9 and 10 these two record does not exist in the employees table and one record already exist so what should happen is these two records 9 and 10 they should be inserted as it is to the employees table and the employee id one record should be updated to the destination table because this employee id already exists in the destination table but the email is different 
so it should be updated with this email and the department is also changed so this new department should be updated to the destination table okay so let me execute the same merge statement click on execute so the data got inserted three records affected two records got inserted and one record got updated so now let me select the data again and now you can see that the 9 and 10 records they got inserted to the destination table and the record number 1 this got updated to the destination table okay so the merge statement is one of the widely used statement in sql server which is very much used for inserting and updating data to the destination table we can also delete the data from the destination table as well but uh, we take the extra precaution before deleting the data so that's why majority of the time we use the insert and update statement you know in the merge statement yeah so i think that's it for today's video and i will share all the statements all the queries like the merge statement create table query and the insert queries with you so that you can use it in your environment as well Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you so much.